YouTube. What's up, YouTube? My name is Larry, and I'm coming back at y'all with another video. And as you can tell, we on the gun channel, so this is a gun video. If you're new to my channel, I do gun content on this channel, strictly gun content, and I just made a car content channel, which is on the other channel. So that channel is called Where is Larry? This channel is called Who's Larry? So yeah, I do have a gun giveaway going on as of right now. All you have to do is press the subscribe button to enter the gun giveaway, and it's based on support. I do have like the top five people in mind already due to the fact, like I said, the gun giveaway is probably going to end in late March, early April, and it's time for me to start picking the people. I'm going to explain what's going on with the lower receivers in the next video because it's been two weeks. It's been about two weeks since I ordered them, and with that being said, I think that they didn't lost the package because I called the gun store. The gun store don't. I said I'm going to explain it in the next video, so we're going to hop straight into the gun video review. <laughs> So yeah, we're doing a gun review right now. We about to hop straight into it. I'm closing the box. So boom, this is the box that the gun come in and I feel like for $300, it's not a bad box, but I prefer this over car. I prefer cardboard boxes over, I don't like cardboard boxes. I don't know why I said prefer, prefer but if you know for the MP um, 830T, my great value Mac 11, this gun was like $400 and it came in a hard box. It came in a hard case. So for $300, I'm not going to say that's not a bad thing because it do give a nice presentation when it comes to the gun as far as the box. And they took their time making the box and stuff like that, even though it's just cardboard. But we're going to open it. So as you open it, due to the fact that I already shot the gun, the gun is supposed to come in plastic. So boom, that's the gun. We're going to take it straight out the box. So me personally, I don't know why guns come with instructions due to the fact that it's simple, point in the safe direction, cocking and shoot, boom. That is literally common sense. And if you don't know about common sense and gun knowledge, you don't need to own firearms. So boom, this is my great value 590. Some people might be like, why you call it a great value 590? Because like I said, this gun was only $300. And as you can tell by the way that it looked, it is built around it's basically made around the 590. So this right here is called the Honcho Pump. I don't know if y'all can see it. Boom. So it's a Honcho right there. And basically, as you can tell, it's a pump. It's a pump action shotgun. So me personally, I do like this gun. I have experienced one problem with it. But at the same time, hopefully y'all can help me in the comments. And if you know what this is for, let me know. So in the box, it came with the little thing that goes inside the chamber to show that it's clear. And it also came with this. Me personally, I do not know what this is for. I tried to look for it in the um, instructions guide. It's not in there. So if you know what this is for, leave a comment. Let me know what it's for. And hopefully there's more gun enthusiasts out there that can help me. I don't need to show y'all the thing to show that it's clear. But at the same time, yeah. So now we're going to get into the little problem that I've been having with this gun. So as you can tell right now, the gun is clear, but it's a... Let me go ahead and clear it. So the gun is clear, right? But at the same time, the only problem that I've been having with this gun is that every time I slide around into the tube, what will happen is it'll get pushed back out. And once it's pushed back out, basically, as you can tell, it's a pump action shotgun. So it's pushed back out. And once you push this down, this little lever go up to make the round go in. But it's hard to do that when you already have a round trying to come out and it's basically working against each other. So I had to, and every time I do that, basically I have to take the gun apart, put it back together to make sure it right, work properly. And me personally, I think every time there's a gun on camera, it want to work fine. But when it's not on camera, that's when I have all these difficulties with it, such as the one that I just explained. And me personally, that's the only problem that I do have. And my other video, when I said I'm doing some mods to my um my gun, as you could tell, I took it off due to the fact that I didn't know. I thought shotguns was its own classification, meaning you could do anything that you wanted to them. I didn't know that it considered it a short barrel rifle because this is basically pistol length, if you want to be honest. But at the same time, it is a shotgun. So it's like it's confusing to me. So I learned that 
So ACF, if you're watching this, do not come to my house. You can send me a letter because it's already gone and I can send you a few pictures, but don't come to my house. But yeah, so this is the gun. I do like the gun, I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, it's still my home defense gun, but I am looking to replace it with a magazine fed shotgun. And personally, I might see a hot and low sometime soon because one, like I said, great value, 590. And I'm finna get the real great, the real 590. And basically, yeah, let me say this also. So this is a, it chambers four rounds plus one, if you want to put one in the head, three inch, three inch shells. So people that don't know, cause if you try to put shorter shells in there, it will take it. But at the same time, you'll probably have a problem with feeding it. I need to clean the barrel and things of that nature. But yeah, this is that. So yeah, if you like this video, press the like button, press the subscribe button. Like I said, press the subscribe button to enter the gun giveaway. If you know anybody that's interested in guns, share this video with them and let them know they could possibly win the AR. Because that's the type of gun I'm giving away. I want to say AR pistol so bad because I feel like that's the one that I'm going to end up making. As of right now, I do have the 300 blackout barrel coming and my girlfriend, her 556 barrel coming. So yeah, sooner or later, I'm going to vote. I'll do the poll on the calibers of the gun. And also, I'm going to do the vote poll on the um, barrel length. Because that's going to be the most important part. The barrel length and the cal caliber. The lore really already done. The poll basically is winning with the one with all the holes in it. So, I'm going to try to find that. Well, I'm going to order that. The buffer tooth has been ordered. The lower receiver, as I was explaining. I don't know if it was in this video or the one that I recorded. Um, the buffer, not the buffer tooth, the lowers. Basically, I ordered it. My package said it was delivered when I called the website that they gave the number and said that it was delivered. I called the gun store. They said they haven't received it. So to me, it sounded like they lost it. So if they lost it, y'all gonna see in the next vlog because I'm going to the gun store tomorrow. But yeah, that's it. My name is Larry and I'll see y'all in the next video. Ooh.